What's up everyone, this is Viper from Fury of Hell, coming back at you with another set of raids. Um, the last time I left you guys off, I was at uh, 22 something, super close to 2300 raids. And then a fib, I did try to see if I can get into there. I didn't want to do a full 6 raids, but I had one or two available, so I just went ahead and did them. So I went and broke my record for the most trophies of 2330, so that's definitely the highest that I've ever gotten. Unfortunately, I haven't done raids in over a day. This game really doesn't like you to go to sleep, and I lost about 200. So I'm back down to 2,103 trophies. So I have six revenges lined up here. So hopefully, and I'm going to do them all. doesn't matter if I win or lose. Um, we're going to go through them, and then I'm going to try to uh, delegate on uh, the process of trying to fight them and uh, we'll, we'll go from there so without further ado we're gonna go and fight our first person so we're sitting here at 3558 we have a uh, Ice Arena Ice Arena up front level 66 final stage and we have a KO Chaos KO a Regard a Cadmont and a Gormax we have an extremely offensive um, line up here. The trophies look very well, and uh, they have gone with the rainbow effect. And so, I'm going to go because uh, she is she's definitely the one that I have to take out the fast. She's got a slow mana generation, uh, deals quite a bit of damage to all my guys. But the big thing is it's the minus 44 defense. Now Gormac will do the same thing. Uh, but not as tough because he's only 569 and then she is 775. So this this is not going to be an easy battle. Uh, I'm still sticking with my Malador uh, for this. And uh, I'm going to put in Catalan. And hopefully hopefully we'll have some a little bit of luck here. So I'm going to look at my 4 star heroes here. And uh, this guy adds defense plus health and makes it for a critical attack so i might um switch them out for this four star troop as it adds more defense better health and more of a critical attack because if i can get a critical on azernia azernia don't know if i'm pronouncing that right probably not um i'm hoping that with the critical attack chance that i'll have a good chance of uh, taking her out quickly uh, I'm going to stick with my normal Wukong, uh, Elise, Elise, and uh, Marjana, and uh, pretty much just going to see how this goes. So, right away, it's kind of nice. We have four greens lined up uh, right here, uh, and I also have one here, but only two of them is going to hit. So, let's go with this one, and then just kind of see how the battle goes. We hit her with two, three greens. Took her about halfway. Not so bad so far. Hit her with a couple more greens there. And I should be able to take her out right here. Yes. So we're going to get this off there. It's good damage. And uh, one of the great things about that, it's 75% uh, defense against special attacks. So from the KO and Gormac. So we should be all right there. Knock off this blue gem. Get some stuff going on here. So I know I'm targeting Gormak. It's just he can minus defense, and he will only um, he will debuff me. So I'm not too worried about that right now because I don't have Wukong activated, and I have a special defense on. So instead of it probably killing me there, I was able to just just kind of save myself so let's let's just continue with the battle I want to go with regard but I want to get rid of Gormak I don't want him to be around anymore that minus defense minus defense is just it's it's tough it's a hard kill so it's not so bad use him to heal throw some red turns at the yellow there you go he's dead it's alright Alright, I don't have any purple troops. 
that was a mistake, but that's alright. I'm gonna get another another special attack from her, and then I should be alright. There we go. So that's the first one done. That was not so bad. Another victory. Nice 43 trophies. I'm gonna go to Manoff Photo. Uh, same thing. So his tank is Gormac. Uh, same level of Alicia as me. Definitely gonna go with blues this time. Uh, just to get rid of that Gormac. 1430. And uh, the fully powered. Another another very offensive team. Um, so you just kind of have to get a little bit of luck and act quickly. So I'm going to throw in my Thorn. Pair with my Elise. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the troops for him. Um, no, I definitely want to keep that on Elise. The critical attack and attack itself. Because she's, she's, she's a much higher level than Thorn right now. And uh, it, it's really not going to make a much difference for him. But it does make a big difference for her. So I'm just going to keep the troops the same. Oh, he's got so much health. I don't think... No, no more blues there. This is... This is a very tough board. I only see one move there, and it's highlighted right now. So hopefully, I'll have a better chance of uh, trying to take this guy out. I'm not exactly sure what I could do here. Probably just throw some reds up into the mix. Got some yellows there. Definitely gonna take them out. Should start throwing in my Santara Sartana into the mix. This is gonna be a tough battle. I'm not getting I'm not getting very good gem placements here. Um Let's go with, let's just get some yellow ones going on here. Okay, I already used his attack, so I was really hoping that I was going to get a little bit more Cascade going on here. And there goes Malador, my healer. So unless I get lucky here, which I might not, because there goes my Lissy. And there goes my Thorn. Oh, this was just not a good battle. Tiberius is ready. He's probably going to end up killing somebody here. Yeah. No, this was not a successful raid at all. Just didn't get the gems this time. <coughs> Just a the defeat there. So definitely didn't get the gems. Uh, very uh, offensive a team. And uh, definitely didn't get that one going. So we'll go on to the next one here. We've got three, four, they're all supporters here. Uh, so this should be a decent battle. Uh, I'm going to get my Catalan back in because we've got two big tanks here that are blue. Uh, with uh, Corral and Boral. We have Delilah here. Old Tusk and Malador. All pretty good health, but not as much as these guys. Their defense is just, their defense is high. And their health is high and they're all maxed out. So throw my cattle in. See how it goes. And then just go from there. So I'm really liking this start already. Definitely going to get some greens on him. Ugh. But the good thing is too is Malandor is filled up. So it's going to take away that counter attack. Catalan is just a good all attack and I'm going to add in and adds to my green hitting. However, um, since it's, since it's, uh, all, all, um, supporters there, no one's attacking me. So her little, um, uh, special defense is not going to help me out here against these guys because no one's going to be hitting me with uh, special attacks they're all going to be using um health to get them to get them oh yeah there we go see where was where was this luck in my last one that's uh 
So definitely gonna take out Delilah first. It's kind of a bigger threat than the rest of them. Pretty good. Things are working out pretty well here. I'm just gonna go see if I can't fill up Malindor and Catalin, which I did. Just using her for AOE attack um, because, like I said, no one's going to be hitting me with special attacks. And um, so just using it for her. Get him up there. Throw some blue gens. Here we go. Definitely getting a lot luckier on gems this round. Versus my last round. There we go. Another victory. That's not too bad. Alright. We're going to lose. So we get 29 trophies here. But we lose 32 if, you lo if we don't uh, end up making it. So scuzzle butts at the beginning. Um, very high health. So again, two reds. Going to run against him. They got a Grim, Liju, a Sabina, and a Gormak. They're all maxed out, so they're all very high health, very high defense. And uh, with Grim here, he's a very powerful attacker. So I would re really like to throw Catalin in here, because it would definitely limit all four of those attackers. But if I'm able to knock them out before they're able to use it, it should be all right. So definitely a very nice start as far as the reds go. It already has killed um, uh, Scuzzlebutt. So we're going after Grim and Liju because Grim or Gormak only has a 642 attack, but Grim has an 852. So he is definitely a hero to watch out for. Um, they both have the exact same uh, minus status effect where they both deal 259% damage, percent damage uh, to the target nearby and 34, minus 34 defense for 6 turns. He does the same thing, but his attack is much lower than Grimm's. So Grimm is definitely someone that should be taken out first if uh, given the opportunity and definitely not because... Still not running any purples, and uh, and then got lucky with the cascade and not lucky with the cascade at the same time. So give everyone a good heal there. Throw some blue gems up at him, hoping that Alessi will kill Liju here. Awesome. Throw some reds to get these guys up. So if we take out Gormak, the it's already done. Yeah, and now it's it's just a matter of getting the right gems at the right time to uh, take out Sabina. Because she's going to be able to heal herself throughout this whole match. So I'll just, just got to get a little bit lucky with the gems in their corner. So she's done. So there we go. There's another victory. 29 trophies. Getting back up there. Still haven't broken uh, 2200, but we did do that one raid and uh, lost 41 trophies. It was, it was a very bad one. Yeah. Just got a little lucky, or unlucky with the raids, uh, gems, but that's alright. We'll get them back. So here we go. We got Corral up front again. Um, and I'm sticking with the. Um, uh, going with two colors versus their top tank and uh, just kind of hoping to get a little bit lucky so one of the benefits with the attackers he has now he's got a Gormak but he's also got a Wukong a, S a Cyprian Corral Gormak and Malador so these are all very strong very good level 4 uh, heroes so my but Corral's going to be the first one I want to take out because I want to get rid of that his attack and, and his defense and hopefully I don't hit 
Cyprian too much to let his goals off because Wukong is going to be the next one after uh, Corel. So hopefully get a little lucky uh, with everybody. Trying to sneak Wukong special in right away if I can without having to use that diamond. Should be able to do it here, but that's yeah, alright. Corel's got his things off. So, I'm going to get another diamond involved here. Doesn't look like much is going to get stirred up if I use it now. So, I'm going to throw some greens up here. Got some yellow, so we'll just fire the yellow off. Maybe get a little lucky. Fire some of the greens off, get a little bit of lucky here. No, definitely not, but that's all right. So until I can get Malador ready and hopefully be able to do them soon before everyone dies. <laughs> Still no green, but I'll be able to get some greens right here. That's all right. Take away that little special movie he has. Definitely, definitely got lucky on the gems placement here again uh, for this battle. And it's funny, I said I wanted to take out Wukong second, but he ends up coming last. But, yeah, I'm not complaining. I was able to get a little bit lucky there and get Wukong special off quickly to help my uh, heroes be able to take on those guys. So, here we go, the last raid of the day, 41-22. I'm not going to lie, I kind of looked at this before I went in and saw this, and uh, this this is going to be a tough battle, so you know what, let's just try something a little bit different. So I took away everyone there. So we got two yellows, a red, a green, and a purple. So we got nature, holy, fire, and, uh, and dark. So we're definitely going to go with Alyssi. Uh, Sartana, Tibertus, uh, just so I'm going to get some yellows or some double um, purples in there for the two double and a brin. And I guess take another quick look. Um, I kind of want to throw another red in there, but I also want to throw another blue in there. Because these guys, they're all maxed, you know, and uh, I think I think they're all supporting, yeah, pretty high level uh, four-star troops. So this is going to be a damn near impossible battle for me, but I'm going to try my best. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Let's, uh, let's just throw Catalan in there, uh, get some greens going. Uh, hopefully I can get her special off. So when I when I get hit with their specials, it's not going to be as devastating. So here we go. Uh, so right off the bat, we can throw some blues at Elena. And, um, or some purples. Yeah, let's get that purple up there. Get a diamond purple. So we'll go with the red here and get a little bit of a cascade going on. Um, so Elena's going to get hit with two. I don't think she's going to be able to power up. So definitely going to be the first one I want to take out. So she's got 323 health left. And I don't think these red these blues here are going to be able to take her out unless i take this red move it up and then oh no i don't think i don't think the blues are going to line up for this one so i'm not going to take the chance i'm just going to take her out so let's see if this would have worked out for me not bad, but again, I don't have any yellow heroes here, so. Yeah. 
Oh, someone's dying. Yeah, I'm going to lose two people here. So let's go with green. Hopefully I can get uh, Catalins. And I'm going to take out Joan. I don't, I've never really fought against uh, G Panther a lot. Uh, 210 damage to the target nearby enemies, and then just uh, negative defense to dark for four turns and removes buffs from the target and nearby. So, let's, go, let's throw some of that to Joan, get some reds and some blues up there, some greens. Definitely got a little bit more yellows this time. <laughs> Down to Tibertus. Do you think he'll do it? Do you think he'll do it? I don't think he's going to do it. Hey, I got. I was able to get two other heroes, so that's not too, too bad. So, um, all in all, I think this was more of a, a fun little raid, more than... Uh, well, I'm definitely going to be serious on it. I mean, I gained a, a good old 79 trophies this round. So that's not too bad. Um, so, yeah. that It does suck. Sass. Definitely does suck. But I'm probably going to refill. and probably going to go for another round. But uh, I've already kept you, go kept you for 22 minutes. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope this uh, worked out. And um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. This is Viper from uh, Fury of Hell. Uh, we also have a Discord that I'm going to be posting a link in below. So come and join us and uh, have a chat. And if you want to see some more videos, then uh, use the search bar. All right, this is Viper signing off.